Do you guys remember when not that long ago I said Stellar Crown might be a little different? That Twilight Masquerade had changed the game? Well, here we are. As of this recording, we are on September 5th in the morning. Everything for Stellar Crown is completely sold out on the Pokemon Center. Now, a lot of, a lot of I saw a lot of people in the comments. I made only a few videos about Stellar Crown. A lot of people skipping the set said it was mid, said um, the terrestrial, the, the crown Pokemon are stupid. Um, it's a decent amount of people liked the set. A decent amount of people were excited, but definitely more people were not about it. And here we are. We have the, could have been picking up the uh, Elite Trainer Box, the Pokemon Center one. 60 bucks, all gone. Even the Booster Box, 161. That's MSRP, gone. Booster bundles, gone. Sleeve boosters, gone. Now, before we go any further, because there's uh, what we're going to get into next is interesting. Uh, I just wanted to preface that um, just because this is sold out right now doesn't mean that they're not just going to come back into stock or anything, okay? Um, so we, we don't know what's going on. Uh, I, nobody can know. It is just interesting, okay? So I'm not saying, I'm not saying that it's sold out forever, that it's not going to come back. That's... Just, it's just interesting that's where we're at right now, okay? So maybe getting a little bit of hype. Um, but, you know, I kind of might have told you so. We don't know yet. <laughs> I can't really say that yet. It's too early, to be completely honest. But if you guys will remember, take a look at this. Right here, here two of my videos right here. One, I said don't miss out. And that's where I kind of said uh, Stellar Crown um, is going to be like Twilight, maybe. The kids like the new Pokemon. The Rainbow Borders are crazy. You know, maybe just don't miss out. And I said, I don't normally pre-order, but now I'm pre-ordering cases. Well, here we are. Okay. Uh, well, like, like I said, we don't know for sure yet. It's too early, but I just wanted to say that maybe this might have been right. Then right here, this is a, an interesting thing we're going to talk about. Um, don't crucify me. I posed the question, will Stellar Crown have a $200 card? And we compared... Uh, the Japanese prices to the English prices, and we were able to say that uh, by the comparison, the Terrapagos EX might be a $200 card. And I said, move over to Greninja, maybe? Well, <laughs> once again, just humor me here. These are pre release. I don't, you should never buy pre release, right? You should never buy when a set first comes out, usually. Usually, not always. In the case of the Greninja, you should have bought. So that's what I'm saying. You just never know. Here's a Terrapagos EX 170. Four days left at $202 already. Here's another one. SIR 213. Now, keep in mind there's a buy it now at 175. So not sure if people are just missing that. Here's another one. English one. $215. Here's another one. $202. Here's a buy it now for $250. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just interesting. It is it is still too, too early to say, um, but this card is already hitting $200. So, um, yeah. Um, I, I'm not totally surprised, to be honest, um, because right now, obviously, the set's not fully out. People are, um, some people had some booster boxes early, but most of this is coming from the pre-release stuff, so people who pull them at pre-release so that's why the prices are high but um while we're here actually i'm gonna throw all these on my watch list i probably should do that because i want to see how high they end up going uh so yeah very interesting there now if we take a look on tcg player you can see i hate that they do this but they have uh so the cards are already on here and they just don't have the pictures it's kind of annoying but there's a few interesting things that we're going to take a look at right here um, starting off, all is not lost. You can still pick up booster boxes. Right? We'll pull it up right here. Booster boxes are still available. They're only at $105. So, um, not the price I would want to pay, uh, but totally fine. So, yeah, booster boxes are available. We'll go back here. Uh, booster box cases are available on TCG Player. Um, they are on their way down to 611 so yeah, cases are still available. 
You can see a bunch of cases got bought right here <laughs> um, as the price was coming down. Uh, I got my cases from Forge and Fire Gaming. Do what you want. Buy wherever you want. That's just that's just information for you guys. But right here, this is what I find interesting too. We got the uh, Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. Had a confirmed sale. One forty nine ninety nine. And there's one person who has three available at one forty nine ninety nine. So one sale and three listed already at one forty nine. That's crazy. So there might be some hype behind Stellar guys. Okay, that that's that's the the end of this video. Let's see what else we got. We'll pull up the Terrapagos. Once again, doesn't have the picture, so I apologize. Now you can see there was some sales here. Uh, one fifty right all around 150 and you can see we have some that's the lowest listed all the way up to 200 so very interesting if this ends up being like the greninja right um let's pull that up while we're here um while i'm talking here um here it is so if this ends up being like the greninja we'll pull up the chart here okay you see what happened right here right you see how it came out the gate hot at pre, like pre-release, right, 158, and it came all the way down to 118. So this is kind of, say, I'm just saying, not for sure, but say this is where we're at with the Terrapagos, um at 158. Say it dips down, or say it even stays, and it just, and then it just continues to run. That's what I'm saying is possible. I wasn't saying that that was guaranteed, but when you look at this Terrapagos, it's doing that same thing, right? It came out 150 at its on its little... I don't know why it's showing it going down so far, but um, that's just kind of where the chart's at because it's so zoomed in. Uh, but we, we, we don't know. That was my whole point is we just don't know. What we do know is that the rainbow borders are new, that kids are going to go crazy for it, and Terrapagos is a legendary Pokemon featured heavily in the new anime. That is what we do know for certain. So uh, we take a look at some of the other stuff here. Uh, obviously on TCG, the Terrapagos is the highest card. That would make sense. The Galvantula, which is the other rainbow one, the little the little guy, he's at 50 on here. Um, I haven't checked eBay for that. Interesting, though. Squirtle and Bulbasaur are at 48 and 47. Sounds about right. Um, a little bit underrated, the Dash Bun, which I thought was kind of actually a really cool card, is at 30. So, I mean, you can't take too much stock from TCG player, like, like I said, pre-release stuff. Booster bundles are available here. Sleeved are, is all available here, right? So um, it can be had still. It it doesn't mean, coming back to the Pokemon Center, it doesn't mean that, like I said, that this isn't going to just come back into stock on the Pokemon Center. Okay, we don't know, but I just wanted to make this video uh, now, right? Showing that things are looking interesting. I was saying with Twilight Masquerade, it changed the game. It changed the game for me. Okay, and that's why I'm not trying to get anybody to FOMO. I want you to um, watch the video, watch my videos. You don't even have to just only take my opinion. Watch other people's videos, okay? Uh, if you if you were being smart, you'd you'd watch, get multiple perspectives, and then you make your own informed decision. I'm just telling you from what I've seen, and with I, I cannot take a gamble on waiting for booster boxes to be to drop into that like 80 90 80 dollar range anymore because it's not happening you understand since twilight it's not happening i'm not going to risk it so i am pre-ordering when i when i never have before cases so um surging sparks is going to could could potentially be way crazier than this we haven't seen the set list but stellar crown is looking potentially bonkers if this being sold out is true which we don't know get ready buckle up because this is going to be a ride and we don't know the pull rates so the pull rates are going to affect the card the single prices for sure and yeah if the pull rates are easy yeah i mean but you just you never know what the demand of the market is going to do because because nobody nobody saw twilight nobody Nobody saw Twilight coming. Maybe a few people. Nobody, nobody thought that it would be where it's at now. Nobody thought the Greninja would be where it's at now. These Usually the things would have come down. Could they still come down? Could Greninja come down? Could these things normalize? Yeah. 
it still can happen but the fact that it's been like this for so many months now and maybe stellar crown comes out maybe surging comes out and people forget about twilight and twilight finally normal like regulates itself that's possible too because you know that's the last you know, mainline booster that's been out so there's just a lot there's a lot going on right now so summary now that we're now that we're cracking 10 minutes on this video the summary is don't fomo per se use use your brain think about what you want what you need this is what i'm doing right that's all i'm saying is i'm doing this do do that also if you want i'm pre-ordering now i said i said i said this a long time ago that this could happen we don't know necessarily if it's happening but it looks like it could be you see what i'm saying we don't know but it's it's not a it's not a full i told you so kind of thing but it might be so uh, i'll follow up we'll make a follow-up video uh later but for now for now i kind of told you guys so so if you want to stay up to date on when i post my latest videos so you can not miss when i say that a set might might be good even though it looks like it could maybe not be quite so good like a, like you know stellar following twilight maybe um do yourself a huge favor hit the subscribe button uh so you get stay up to date uh also hit the thumbs up while you're there and leave me a comment let me know what your guys' thoughts on stellar crown are is it is it too early to tell you still think it sucks um looks interesting so also if you guys are interested in joining a growing discord server we have over 300 members uh the link is in the description there's a lot of deal notifications like those 151 booster bundles are still coming in and out of stock and the um crown zenith sea and sky boxes at sam's club if you want to know and get a notification right on your phone when those are back in stock join the discord we got a huge it's, it's a lot of great people in there there's buy sell trade just general chat um, show off your collections right there's a ton of stuff in there ton of people and a lot of people are able to capitalize on these restocks so and you know ask any questions you want I'm, I'm in there as much as possible but there's a lot of other great people in there as well but that is going to do it for this one guys um yeah stellar crown crazy i will catch you in the next one and remember it was never a phase